Covering the High Plains with news, weather, and information. From TV23 Studios in Sublette, this is High Plains Today. Hi, everybody. Welcome to this special edition of High Plains Today. I am joined in the studio. It is my honor to be joined in the studio today by our treasurer of the state of Kansas, Jake Letourneau. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. It's good to see you. Yeah. You know, it's good to see you in the flesh because, you know, <laughs> I will say one thing. You are all over social media and the webpage and everything and in the papers. I mean, you are out there. Well, we're doing everything we can to promote the initiatives in the state treasurer's office, and uh, uh, we're having a great time doing it. It's, it's, it's nice to see you coming. I mean, you're out making a 105 county trip around the state you're going to get to every county right and you're kind of like jerry moran when he comes back to kansas he goes to every county are you trying to rival him are you trying to take his job <laughs> no one could ever <laughs> rival senator moran uh, with the travel schedule but um you know i mean i think that people shouldn't have to call some far off office in topeka uh to uh, to experience the services of our office so we'll come to your home county uh, and hopefully be able to return some unclaimed property to you. Okay, we're going to get to that in a little yeah. bit. But let's talk a little bit about, all right, the state treasurer. Now, you do have this big initiative. You're out returning unclaimed monies, in, and that's why you're going to 105 counties. Right. But what is it that on a day-to-day -day basis, as opposed to driving around 105 counties, does the, straight, the state treasurer's office do? On a daily basis? I mean, sure. what are you guys in charge of? Not just giving money away or taking money, right? Right. Right. It's a great question. So our primary function is to operate as the state's bank, right? And uh, if we don't mess that up, uh, and we're not, <laughs> we're able to focus on some of the other initiatives in the office. So over the years, the legislature has seen fit to uh, task the treasurer with different things. It's kind of a hodgepodge, but it's, uh, they're all great uh, uh, programs. Uh, the first is unclaimed property. Um, another one is the Learning Quest 529 education savings accounts. Right. been a very successful uh, program. Uh, and the other one that is brand new, it was just uh, uh, started in January of this year, is the Kansas ABLE Act. Okay, yeah, because I want to get into that here in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, of course. But go ahead and talk about, I mean, are you the, you're, you are the bank of the state of Kansas. That's right. We're keeping track of the money, making sure we, uh, uh, we, we interact a lot with the uh, Department of Administration, the CFO of the state, uh, the Department of Budget. Um, and, uh, and make sure that we're paying the bills on time and uh, making sure that we have the money to pay the bills. You know, that's, no, uh, that, okay, so you're, you, you keep the checkbook. That's right. You're the, you, all right, you got any problems with the state's checkbook? <laughs> Call this guy. He's in Topeka. He's on the second floor of the uh, Landon office building, that's right? That's right. That's exactly right. I was reading up on the You've state. You've done your research. I've, I've read up a little bit on the state treasurer, and there's some fun facts you have on your website that are kind of, and, William, the most popular name of the 39 state treasurers we've had since, what, 1860 or something like that? Yeah. I went, okay. But there's only four of those, so that, that's not very many. Sure, but, you know, uh, people are familiar <laughs> with their state treasurer, and we've had some good ones in the past, you know, a, 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 a Ron and a Lynn and a Tim and a, you know, and a Joan. Uh, so it's, it's a, 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 a good bunch of people have served as treasurer. Okay, so now you were appointed when Ron Estes won the special runoff election right. uh, to take then Representative Pompeo, who is now the director of the CIA. That's right. And so Ron Estes, who was a former treasurer, took his spot, and then the governor said, Jake, have I got a deal for you? Is that well, kind of how it goes? Well, I, we, you know, we, always, <laughs> we always joke about the series of events that had to take place uh, for me to become treasurer. Um, uh, first of all, Donald Trump had to beat Hillary Clinton, right? <laughs> <laughs> he had to pick Mike Pompeo for the CIA. Ron well, Estes had okay. to win that race. Okay, yeah. Uh, a lot of right. things had to fall into place. But a lot of dominoes. A lot of there. dominoes. Yeah, I, I come from a family. My dad, I, I grew up in a small town in southeast Kansas called Galena. My dad was the mayor of my hometown. Um, I grew up going to city council meetings and, and, and putting up signs in yards. And I just, I thought it was normal <laughs> behavior for each other. It, it's not normal. Uh, but I grew up around that and, and was taught that service is a good thing. So that's what I've, I, I'm about. Um, had a chance to do it in the legislature for five years, twice elected to the uh, 13th District Senate seat. Um, so the opportunity to serve statewide uh, is an incredible honor. And um, um, I'm really enjoying the job and, 
and 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 we're trying to uh, be <laughs> you know be grateful uh, for the opportunity and work incredibly hard and uh, uh, make sure that we're doing the right thing for the people of Kansas. I think you are doing that. Well, thank you. Um, so was when you ran for the state senate the first time was that your first foray into public office? I did well so interestingly You were enough, like a city councilman in school board no, or anything like that. No, no. You, you went right for the big one. I was a congressional staffer. Uh, I worked for Congresswoman Lynn Jenkins, a former state treasurer oh, yes. actually. Yes. Um, and did that for four years, worked in the private sector. Um, uh, but no, I, yeah, I didn't serve any other, went straight to the state senate uh, and um, uh, really enjoyed my time there. And then, and then after all the dominoes fell, then did the governor call you and say, Jake, have I got a deal for you? Well, it wasn't quite like that. <laughs> oh, he didn't call you and say, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite like that. But uh, we, we were really honored to receive the appointment and uh, been in there a uh, little over six months. So yeah, it hadn't it's been, been going well. You've been in a lot of counties in the first six months. We right. have. Well, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about a few more of these programs. I want to talk about the ABLE program. We want to talk about the Unclaimed Claim Cash. Sure. And we want to talk about some of the other things that you guys do. All right? Love to. All right. Stick around. The State Treasurer and I will be back right after this. You're watching High Plains Today on TV23 with host Chris Jewell. TV 23's internet service and 4G live streaming provided by United Wireless. Coverage you deserve. Service you expect. United Wireless. Hi, I'm Chris Jewell, host of High Plains Today, a 30-minute news and information program that airs at noon weekdays right here on TV 23. Hey, do you think you have an idea for something that would make a great segment? Somebody that would make a great interview? What about a community event that needs highlighting? Let us know here at the station. Email us, news at kbgltv.com. And welcome back to this special edition of High Plains Today. I'm joined in studio today by our Kansas State Treasurer. He is Jake Letourner. He is on a massive road trip. How many counties have you been to so far? This is 89 89. 89. We're going to finish up the 105th county uh, just in a little bit. November 9th uh, will be the, the, the big celebratory uh, uh, day of the 105th county. You, you, know, <laughs> you know intellectually that it's a big state, but you don't really know until you travel. Until you've touched every, every one of that's them. That's right. It's a so big, you've been to, okay, so come November 9th, you will have been in every county seat in the state of Kansas. That's right. Well, in every county. Sometimes we'll do the most populated city, okay. depending on, All yeah, right. but yeah, yeah. every county, for all sure. Right. Wow. And it's you're been fun. driving them all, right? Yes, we're driving them all. So you're not getting any frequent flyer miles out no, of this or anything? No, 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 no. We've left the state plane in the hangar for others to use. We're, <laughs> we're out here. You learn a lot more when you're driving, you know? You That's get true. to stop in and uh, fill up on gas and meet the local folks and uh, the, eat at the local diners. That's one of our favorite things is... Uh, you got to find the local cuisine in every place you go. So it's been it's been great. All right. So there is a restaurant. Uh, I'm thinking, thinking, thinking in Jetmore. If you get to Jetmore, have you been to Jetmore yet? We have. Oh, did you go to Judy's Cafe? No, we did. I no, but I will go back. There's a shameless plug for Judy's Buf Cafe in Jetmore. But if you're going back through, you need to go through. Okay. All right. It's it's it's. We we are going back through. Uh, and, All right. And, and so you I, have to stop absolutely. at Judy's. Absolutely. I hear that is a great place. Okay. Okay. So. You know, you were talking about you have this new program out. We're going to get the unclaimed cash deal because that's why people want to see you. Yeah. <laughs> but you have, it's called Kansas Able. Correct. What's it all about? Well, I was in the legislature when this was first passed. Um, it, it's a tremendous program. Folks uh, living on disability assistance were, were often put in tough situations where they couldn't have more than $2,000 in assets. Um, that's not a lot of money. It's a very vulnerable population that, um, that, that really we were, we were making totally reliant upon government. Um, so with the ABLE Act, people are able to save, able to save up to $100,000. Their family, uh, friends, um, grandparents can contribute to it. Uh, and, and really make a meaningful difference uh, for a lot of folks out there. Well, yeah, because it, it used to be, now, and this is kind of a, a neat initiative, because it used to be that 
if some an elderly person wanted to go into an assisted living or something like that, you had to be, and in order to afford it or have Medicaid, Medicare, whatever help you, you had to dissolve pretty much everything. Right. You hear these horror stories of these yeah. spin downs yeah. to get below the level. And I, we met a family. We were in a, a, a Washington uh, County, and we met this family that um, they were terrified, an older couple, and they were worried that they wouldn't be able to leave anything to their only child that was a middle-aged guy uh, living on disability. They wouldn't be able to leave anything to him. And so they're, these good people are trying to think of ways, how can I game the system and how can I leave it to this relative and still get it to... I, they don't have to struggle with that anymore. Um, it's simple to do. It, you don't have to hire a team of attorneys to set up things to make it work. Um, and, uh, and, and so it's a great thing. And again, a very vulnerable population um, that, that has a little more security that anyone would want. We sure. all want to be able to save for the future sure. uh, and not be reliant paycheck to paycheck. That should be all of our goal. Um, and so anyway, we're, we're really proud of it. Okay, and this is one of the things that when you're in these counties doing the unclaimed property um, thing that people can ask you about of also, course, right? Of course, absolutely. I mean, we're, and especially with this being such a new initiative yep. that they can come and say, all right, what's this Kansas ABLE? Absolutely. Say? We have... Oftentimes, we'll have presentations. Uh, uh, the director of the ABLE program will come along and uh, do a PowerPoint for folks to educate them on the law and how it works. And uh, so it, it's been really good. Our, our biggest problem with ABLE is that en not enough people know about it yet. Okay. And so that's what we're working on. ABLE, get out there and ask about it. When you see him today, I mean, he's got, he's got a few counties left, but spread the word. Right. If, you have, if he's already been to your county... You can always call them and ask. And we're coming back. Well, you're coming you know, back. We're yeah. coming back. Well, yeah, once you do it once you do it once, <laughs> you've got to do it again, right? Yeah, absolutely. we got to get you to a point where, okay, we can put up a map of Kansas with just the county's outline, no names. Okay. And then if we say one, we're going to go, all right, what's this? And you can go, uh, Finney okay. or whatever, all right? I want to work on that. Okay, there's not a test today, though, right? No, no, not okay. a test. All right, all right. No, because you haven't been to them all. You know, yet. you could just give me a little time, and we'll be able to we'll be able to do that for sure. <laughs> all right, as you're driving around, you could work on that. I will. Okay, I will. Stay right there. We're gonna come back, and I want to get into the big one that you're out traveling around. That's that's the main reason that you're out. Sure. We want to talk about unclaimed property and funds. Okay. Yep. Stick around. The state treasurer. Now be back right after this. Hi, Chris Jewell, host of High Plains Today a 30-minute news and information program that airs weekdays at noon right here on TV 23. We talk about news, we talk about sports, we talk about weather, we're even gonna talk entertainment. We'll have live guests right here on set with me. So, every day at noon, tune in High Plains Today. We'll see you then. Weekdays here on TV 23. And welcome back, I'm joined by State Treasurer Mr. Jake LaTurner, he's been in the job a whole, what, six months? That's right. But you've already been to 80-plus counties That's in the right. state of Kansas. Look at you go. <laughs> All right, so the big reason now, do we call this the Kansas Lost and Found? Uh, you could. You could. You know, it's, uh, the, 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 it's the, the, the treasure trunk of the state of Kansas. You just, <laughs> just have to access the, the website to okay. find out. But you're not driving around. You and, you and your sister, Peter, aren't driving around with a trunk full of money. Handing stuff out, are you? We're not. No, okay, we, we right. try <laughs> just just so people know. <laughs> we try not to do that, but we, you know, uh, it's a quick process. We've we've streamlined the process. Folks can come in uh, or do it online, and we'll, the turnaround's not bad. We'll get you a check in about a week, ten right. days. Yeah, because um, I I think Brian, don't we have a screenshot now? This is the website. You go to kansascash.com and you go to the unclaimed property, and it comes up. It's very very simple. Yes. And when you first started doing this, I thought, well, I'm going to check this out. So I went on there. It's, it's so simple. I typed in my name, and I came up, and I went, ooh, I must have some. Right. So I went, and they said, we'll get back to you. And they said, okay, you're getting a check. We'll send you a check. And it was about a week, 10 days. Yeah. I get this, I get this, uh, this envelope from the Kansas State Treasurer. I'm thinking... Yeah, we're going to the bank. <laughs> it was only $12. Well, you know. But it was $12. Absolutely. It was your $12. I don't know what that, I don't know what it was from. Well, that, that's but what, I had $12. But that's what we tell people. It, this is your money. 
it's not ours. Right. It's better in your hands than ours. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, and we have a lot of it. Uh, we, we encourage people to go. Uh, when I became treasurer, I had unclaimed property. It was an old utility deposit, uh, $40 from when I was in college, uh, and the check just never made it to me. Um, but it's, it, 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 it's, it's not hard. You go on kansascash.com, uh, search your name like you said, verify that you are who you say you are, right. uh, and, and, yeah, and we'll so send you a check. Right it's, it's this point and click. Yeah. If, if, type your name in. And, and it's going to get even easier. We're coming out with a, a new website uh, no. uh, sometime next year. Say it's not so. It's going to be even easier. <laughs> That's right. How could it? You can't make it any easier than it is well, now. Well, just stay tuned. Stay All tuned. Right. We'll come back on the show. All right. Okay. And unveil, hold you, I'm holding you. We're going to unveil the new website. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. All right. So, because there's what you said, three hundred and fifty million dollars right. out there in yes. unclaimed assets, whatever you want to call. It, right. Which twelve dollars was mine. $40 That's right. Dollars of it was his. Yep. And your hand I, now, some people are going to get more than that. Of course, obviously. I, I, I talked to a gentleman yesterday that we uh, sent a check for a hundred thousand dollars. What? Are you sure that wasn't mine? Well, I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. We, we. It didn't say Chris Jewel. On no, it? <laughs> it did not. It did God. not. But I mean, no. There's real money. The trouble I have sometimes, and we work through it. We work through it. But the trouble I have sometimes is they think I'm a Nigerian prince calling or something. With, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Those but, emails that go around. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's, right. that's you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun. I, you know, to call people and say, hey, we've got an uh, you know, old life insurance policy of your father's that you didn't know about. I, and, and, and this is fun in games, but sometimes it's very, very serious. Uh, we, yeah. we, we had a single mother uh, in Hutchinson. She was uh, raising a few kids trying to get by. Um, her dad, she was the only child, her dad passed away a decade before, and he had an old checking account that she didn't know about. They turned the money into us. Um, we find her. We track her down and say, hey, is this your money? And uh, it made an enormous difference in her life. Well, yeah. And, uh, and, and for her, she said, it was, the, it was the kindest thing. She said, my dad's still taking care of me. You know what I mean? Yeah. After all of those years. Um, so you see these heartwarming stories sometimes. Uh, and again, uh, we're happy to do it because it's not ours. This isn't ours. Right. And so we're doing everything we can to return it to people. And, you, and you, you've been out into, what, 89 counties? That's right. Got a, got a few to go. November 9th, he'll be done. That's right. But he'll be back out. He's going to make a tour number two. That's right. Well, we'll start on the second tour uh, as soon as this one's over. So, all right. So of the $350 million uh -huh. that is in there, how much is left? How much have I mean? How much have you dispersed so far? Well, we've so on an annual basis, uh, we receive about fifty million dollars a year, and past years, past treasures have returned about half of it. Um, we're on track to do better than that this year. We've returned a record amount so far. We're about seven and a half million dollars. Okay, uh, and we're going to keep uh, keep chugging along. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because the fiscal year starts July. 1. That's right. July first. So you so. haven't. Yeah. So you've been in office since July first. Right? Oh, yeah, I've been in office since April. April. But okay. July first we started. The fiscal year you in. That's right. right. I, all that's right. right. I got. I got Kansas. We lost really. And found. We I got really, money to give away. We really should count June too. That's when we started the tour. But uh, but I'm making it hard on myself. So we're uh, to, to break the record because uh, we're we're going to. That's the goal. We're going to return more unclaimed property this year than ever before. And you've got now. Has turnout been good when you go to these small towns turnout, or big towns, whatever? Yes, yes, turnout has been great. Something that we're doing is it, we're utilizing social media, as you mentioned. You yeah. saw it on there, um, and so it's really neat because it's becoming really a, an interactive process. People get on there, and they don't just search for themselves, but they search for family members, uh, and then they'll tag their family member uh, in the post. And the family member will get on there, and then they'll search somebody. They'll tag someone else. Um, but you will not believe how many uh, grandparents, moms and dads, sons that say, uh, my, my granddaughter told me about this on Facebook, and so here we are. Or um, I, we had a guy the other day at uh, $3,000, um, and he said, my dad called me and said, you got to get down there. I saw your name. you got to see how much it's for. He he assumed that it was twelve dollars like yours, but it was it was it was but thousands. It was, my $12. It was thousands. So yeah, absolutely. 
Well, and that's the other thing. Get on Facebook and follow this guy because he's always posting something. And you've got a ton of videos on there where you're handing checks out to people. We do. We get out the big Ed McMahon check. Yeah. And you know, it's a, it's it's fun. It's great. We will knock on your door and, uh, uh, <laughs> With and show balloons, up. Balloons and flowers. <laughs> we haven't done balloons and flowers, but I think oh, we should. Yeah, I we, think you should. We've talked about like it. A publisher's clearinghouse. Thing. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Jake, thanks for coming by today. Thank you very much. This is fun. All right. Get on the internet. Look up kansascash.com. There it is. It's super simple. Get on Facebook. Follow this guy. And get out and know. I, he's a really nice guy. He really, really is. He's one of the few politicians you'd want to sit down and have a cup of coffee with. <laughs> thank you. Jake, thank you very much for coming by today. Glad to be here. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. We'll see you next time on High Plains Today. up to date with the latest information from TV23 on our Facebook page, KDGL-TV.